When someone thinks about pride in the UK in the 21st century, they may think of the beautiful, vibrant colours of every type of person celebrating who they are and possibly who their friends and family are. They may also think of the individuality and acceptance that people of the community gain from this event, or even the brightly decorated businesses that have rainbow-themed products on sale. Either way, there is happiness, there is joy, and there is pride. How has pride shaped the stories of people of the LGBT plus? And how will pride affect younger generations today? Come along with me as we discover pride. New York, June 28th, 1969, was when the turnover of opinions towards LGBT plus community members began. Police officers came into Stonewall Inn, which was a popular place for members of this community to attend. They arrested 13 people who were found to be violating the statute for gender-appropriate clothing. The people in this inn were treated aggressively. They were found to be attacking them. This is where the riot began. The inn was set on flames and the passion of thousands of people sparked, resulting in protests. From the aftermath of the riots, a yearly event happened in New York, which resulted in the United Kingdom gaining word of this and holding their own in London. The year was 1972. July 1st, a homage to when the Stonewall riots began. It started out with just gay men until 1983, where lesbian women joined in too. And so, Pride began. The community has changed significantly um, because now, you know, up and, up and down the UK, you find that there are different um, counties are having like the Manchester Pride, London Pride. It's not just happening in London, it's happening all over the UK. Off the top of my head, I had no idea um, it would happen until later on in life. But obviously I think it was 2011, but um, civil partnership was illegalised in the UK. And then the, the protected characteristics that was provided in the Equal Equality Act showing that, you know, every no matter who you are, sex, gender, whatever, it is accepted and it's a protected characteristics. Well, prior to me, in, well, in terms of this, um, I guess this helps me a lot, especially in Pride parades as well and stuff like that, because I have massive problems with like, showing myself in like public and stuff like that at an event. So this kind of helps me get used to myself and basically create another character. It helps me get out there, I guess. Pride is, is very, it's a very um, good thing to have because it helps people who might not be very sure of themselves, you know, having identity um, crisis or issues, but now they, um, Pride has helped them to, to embrace being who they are more. Pride for me is just mainly an easy way for me to come out and express myself. And for the fact that it's a safe space for you to turn around and say, oh, this is my sexuality as I want to identify as. And most of the time in these in this little section there's people who will you know support you for that and it's just that safe environment or that title that basically helps you be a bit more safer one basically um, else in high school and obviously back um, in the second Debbie it, Surprising, my school was quite open about um, all this lot, which was kind of surprising because I live in a very um, kind of Tory village, you know, classic Catholics and stuff like that, and uh, Church of England. So it's um, 
quite interesting to see people's reactions, especially in the family as well, because like um, it's not as bad as I thought. It, they did struggle it away at first, but you know it, they eventually got used to it and they just accept it now as a thing. Which same with everyone else, and you know, I mean, I'm a care worker, a mobile uh, support care worker, and um, some of these old, I mean, some of these clients, you know, they're talking maybe 80s, you know, 80, probably 70, 80s. And it's interesting to see some of the divides and beliefs, but a lot of them are just accepting of it. Um, growing up, I'm from, from Jamaica, and growing up in Jamaica, it's not something that anybody would really, you know, talk about. Um, but we hear often on the news internationally what's happening in the USA because it's our closest neighbour. And um, yeah, so I think, but when I came to the UK, I came to the UK in 2002. I, you know, it, I embraced it. I, it was absolutely amazing to know that I could be myself. You know, I could do anything, go anywhere without looking over my shoulder and there was absolute amazing support out there. There are numerous amount of organizations, LGBT+, Nottinghamshire, Nottingham LGBT Network, that has and provide, you've got also the Terence Higgins Trust, which is close partnership with, what, you know, with the gay community. So, you know, yeah, I feel, yeah, it was a really good experience. Within the start of the 21st century, there has been an increased acceptance and an increase in young people from the age of 16 to 25 attending Pride or understanding how Pride impacts the community. More of this generation have started to from this accept their peers and others in the community. From 1969, Pride has been a huge part of many lives. It shaped the views of younger people, increased acceptance in communities and is forever evolving, just like the opinions of a country. Pride encourages individuality, encourages people to accept themselves and has helped shape British values.